There's been obvious anti-white and anti-Asian racism practiced in our most elite institutions for many years now. It is everywhere. It's in Hollywood. It's in, 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 ch char in charities. It's in media. Do you think properties. that that's you think that's anti-racism, or do you do you think that is the world or America correcting itself, and therefore you know equality by some can be deemed as um, you know, unfair? Personally, I think it's an idiot. Holy crap! Who had Sam Harris becomes a far-right extremist on their 2024 bingo card? This is the very same Sam Harris that admitted that there was a left-wing conspiracy to keep Trump out of office, but that it was okay because Trump is like a speeding meteor coming towards the earth. It's exactly the type of it's different when we do it kind of mentality that I've talked about. Well, in this interview, it's not Sam Harris, but Don Lemon dropping all the it's different when we do it, and you've got to see it for yourself. Who is a good one? Do you think there's a do you think there's any um, similarity in what's happening in America, especially in, when you look at the last maybe 10, 12 years, 15 years in politics with the rise of Barack Obama and then the religious right and, you know, these sort of radical right wing groups, racist groups, um, because I would have thought and I'm a person of color that we had made a. Um, bigger gain or bigger strides when it comes to racism yeah. in this country. Now I feel like we're moving backwards, especially if you look at what's happening in politics right now with the MAGA movement and, you know, not teaching black history in school and, and so yeah. on. Okay, first of all, outside of some weird fringe school out there somewhere, every public school is teaching black history. What has happened is that far left critical race theory derived propaganda has been removed from the public school curriculum. Second, yeah, we were making big strides in racism until the left and Democrat party realized there was still lots of power to gain and money to make, while at the same time blatantly ignoring or covering for left wing and far left extremism. We went through four years of left wing riots because they couldn't get over losing the 2016 election and these people people like don lemon told us that it was mostly peaceful well I, I i do i share your concern about the far right and i do actually think that i underestimated the the danger there previously as well right so i i'm you know it's it's definitely more on my radar in the last few years than it's it's ever been um but i do think that the left the far left is in large part culpable for energizing the far right. I'm not saying that, you know, there weren't racists before we had people people like Ibram X. Kendi going around telling us that everyone was racist, but he's <clears throat> made matters far worse. And and the promotion of that kind of narrative by the, you know, the, 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 at the highest points of culture, right, you know, in, in media, in Hollywood, in, in nonprofit institutions, I mean, there's been a complete capture of elite culture by a very woke understanding of just how excruciating racism still is in America. Uh, and that, I think, has largely amounted to a gaslighting of much of our society. And it has, it has you know, if we get Trump again for four more years, I'm largely going to blame the far left of the Democratic Party for that. I just think it's, you know, you know everything from drag queen story hour to uh, you know, just the endless, you know, ar ar arithmetic around pronouns to, um, you know, the Jussie Smollett and, you know, the, the, the summer of uh, 2020 and, you know, just uh, mostly peaceful protests on your own former network. All that stuff so gaslit people and enrage people right of center. Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Yeah, and can I just interject something really quick? Because Don Lemon was also a big part of gaslighting the American public into believing that police officers, white police officers, were out there hunting down innocent black people. First of all, this whole anti-police rhetoric is based on a lie. There is no data, and you know this, there is no data, there is no research that proves any of that nonsense. None. That is not a lie. It is the a lie. Yes. Show me. The research. Show that, me. The research Show that it we to me have, then. that we have from the Washington Post, that that the Washington Post study. debunked also that nonsense. There's also research. He also said Sheriff, this time. There's also research. He from continues. A Harvard professor that also showed that black people are treated more aggressively by police officers no, you are than other wrong. people. Which then leads to Democrats and left-wingers believing that literally thousands of innocent, unarmed black men are being hunted down by the police every year. When in reality, it's actually just barely above double digits. That 
we still have tra- in large part. I think that's why. Well, we it sounds like you're Trump. saying it, it, it's it's caused people to be racist. I don't know if I buy that, Sam. Well, no, I understand it, it what you're caused, saying. It, it hasn't caused people to be racist. It's caused people to to become very cynical and to lose their patience for obviously spurious claims of racism. And, and it's well, not obviously, I mean, look, everyone, everyone knew Jesse Smollett, even Jesse Smollett knew that he was, you know, that that was a lie. I think people um, understood that. Seriously? I think that what people need to hear is just the truth. That's the first time he's given a detailed account, an account that Chicago police have said has been consistent. He hasn't changed his story. They also said it's credible. Police have said that and also that he has been very cooperative. If the attackers are never found, how will you be able to heal? Um, I don't know. Obviously, I mean, look, everyone, everyone knew Jesse Smollett, that that was a lie. But I don't know if I would say that those people, because, because I believe the intentions are good and maybe they have backfired, they've gone too far. But I do believe that their intentions are good. I cannot, I cannot for the life of me believe that they made things, um, you know, extreme. I forget what the words you're saying. Considerably, I think you said worse for people who may have racist tendencies. I don't know if I can buy that argument. Was so dumb. All right, I'm sorry. I got to stop real quick and just point out something here. When he starts talking about good intentions, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about that you always see come from people on the left as they rationalize their obviously extreme actions. They constantly carve themselves out exceptions from their own rules, and it's almost always that there's good intentions. It's not because it's not... um... It's not that these people have landed in in uh, you know unabashed racism, right? I mean, t- t- take something like so. You know, I think you and I both have a former friend. Uh, maybe you're still friends with him. He's a former friend of mine, Dave Rubin, right? I mean, look at his yeah. uh, journey politically over uh, you know recent years. Um, it's not that he's become a racist, right? I think he's just he's he's now I think square squarely right of center. I don't think he would deny that i don't know about but i think there's there people have other motivations i think there are other motivations people can become grifters because they they see it's the shortest line to the front yeah and i think that 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 does happen with some people the person we're mentioning or others where Mm -hmm. they see you know it's easy for me to gain popularity money and move to the front of the line i saw that with a lot of people who were um were never trumpers and then they realized that by becoming pro-trumpers that they could get on television. They could get television contracts. They can, you know, get jobs in the White House and in government. But people have other motivations than just purely yeah. like, I, because I understand all of it. No shit. Oh, I'm sure you understand all of it because you are exactly what you're talking about. Unless this is not Don Lemon. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Number five, pull up your pants. <laughs> Number four now is the N-word. Respect where you live. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. (laughs) Finish school. Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. (laughs) And probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should. But that didn't that that doesn't make me change uh, my core and my understanding of what's going on. Certain people may go too far in their thinking and their actions, but their intentions are good. And you have the possibility of reeling them back in. Others, when you consider the far right racist, their intention is to be racist. The mm-hmm. other person's intention is to try to stop someone from going too far to stop racism from someone doing something that is harmful to society and the other one is to you know it is not that do you understand what i'm saying that was different it always is when it's you no you don't understand you just agree with their intentions that's literally all it is but he has to do these crazy mental gymnastics because otherwise he's a glaring hypocrite and he knows it well see, i think you're being you're too charitable to many figures on the far left, right? I think but I, look, I, I have similar feelings yeah. about the, the way yeah. that you feel. But I understand when people's intentions are good. I understand when you are part of an underserved community. If you are a member of the transgender community and you are being targeted and are possibly your life is in jeopardy, you see your friends dying, 
I, I can understand why you're saying, you know, I, I am a woman or whatever. I can understand that you, you want to be treated equally and it may go too far. You're not saying you're not trying to discriminate against someone else because you are trying to be safe and you want to be a viable part of society. That's something completely different. He's in, boys. He did it. He said it. I mean, and this is this is true. I would say right of center too, unless you get too far right where you you encounter genuine evil. But for most people, most of the time, people are trying, at least in their own minds, to do good things. Right, there are very few people who are mm. consciously doing evil, right? And and I, I and and so largely, this is a story. No, I don't know and, about that. With some of the, I don't know about that when you are, when someone is a member of the clan, if someone is a member no, of the I, Proud what, Boys, yeah, if someone I, I is a, a the clan, member of obviously. those groups who are out there saying Jews will yeah. not replace us, I don't think they're trying to do good all the time. Unless you get too far right, where you you encounter genuine evil, but no, I don't no, think I, look, that, that's why I said if you go far yeah. enough right, you you. Yeah, you definitely meet some evil people. Yeah. But um, but I, look, I may I may have some, you know, similar thoughts. Um, you know, I understand that. But I also understand what it's like to be a person in the society who is discriminated against and someone who has been attacked. I understand that sometimes people can go too far uh, in trying to get other people to understand members of the larger culture or society. You don't realize how bad it is until you see people marching out on the street and until you see a Heather Heyer dying um it's you know it's just not a problem for you and and one can be cynical about it and say oh well they've gone too far with the pronouns yeah i think people have gone too far with the pronouns i just had that conversation with a transgender friend and mm -hmm. we both get attacked for it all the time yeah but they're in, but our intentions their and their intentions are different than people who are being actively racist and people who are actively grifting and people who are actively trying to co-opt people to pay for their legal bills, people who want to enact Project 2025, who don't believe in a democracy, um, who, you know, is saying that if they get elected again, they're going to be a dictator. That's yeah. different. It always is when it's you. I could just as easily flip it around and say that I believe what Don Lemon and people like him do to society is bad, and thus their intentions are bad. But here's the thing. If both sides do the same thing, then we're going to get nowhere, and eventually it will be civil war. He's carved out a special exception if you have certain identities that go along with his ideology. He's not even listening to what Harris is saying. Harris already said, minus the truly evil people out there, like I said earlier, that fringe group that used to just be ignored in the backwoods somewhere, but now is elevated to these giant statuses because the media and guys like Don Lemon need to elevate them so they have a boogeyman. Yeah, well, I mean, there are gradations to confusion and and bad intent, you know, across this landscape. And I mean, we can just sort of pick our our places and 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 uh, you know share intuitions about what's really going on there. I, I think the general problem, though, is that. We have to get out of these this identity politics game, and it's the left that is enshrining that more and more in our politics. I mean, it's just it's it's the left that is is non negotiable about the 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 primacy of identity, and what it's doing is it's is it's motivating white identity politics on the right, which is awful. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's like there's, there's it, yeah, because I was going to say there's no more. There's no bigger identity politics than MAGA. Oh, nice gaslighting. Are you? F kidding me sure MAGA people can dabble in identity politics because if you can't beat them might as well join them but come on the left and the democrats it's their bread and butter yeah that's it's all, the biggest and, identity but, politics but, in the you know country. it's a, you know i think it's indefensible but it's under it's psychologically understandable and there's a there's much more gaslighting and sanity uh, in generally speaking coming from the left um but i would say well, what i would say about you know what's so wrong about you know Ibram X Kendi and 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 everyone you know the the activist class diagnosis of race in America now is that we have made so much progress, especially w with respect to you know elite culture, that what we really have under DEI is a regime of reverse racism. There's been obvious anti-white and anti-Asian racism practiced in our most elite institutions. For many years now, and we see we've seen the consequences in the Ivy League and other you know, you know great colleges, but it's it is just it is everywhere. It's in Hollywood. It's in in ch char you know, charities. It's in media. Do you properties. think that that's you think that's anti-racism, or do you um, do you think that is the world or America correcting itself, and therefore um, 
you know, equality by some can be deemed as, um, you know, unfair. Okay. Well, first, let me acknowledge it's an excruciating problem and and very difficult to solve. And and I'm, to my knowledge, no one knows how to solve it, right? So if I could solve it for you here, uh, you know, I would win the Nobel Prize and I would deserve it. We would uh, both, yeah. because I would lead you to to solving it. But go yeah. on. A human. <laughs> but let, let, I mean, I'll give you my you know fairly considered opinion on this, which is one: we should acknowledge that the history uh, is every bit as awful as as you know many people uh, allege right i mean just so there's, there's a lot to apologize for i'm sorry but it's illegal to racially discriminate against people even if you think you're somehow fixing past wrongs by doing it and the fact is you're not fixing anything all you're doing is creating new generations of people who feel disenfranchised and then at some point you're gonna have to racially discriminate against some other group to fix that it is completely and utterly idiotic to believe that you can racially discriminate against people now to fix problems of the past and it won't somehow create problems in the future. You all can go check out the rest of this interview. I put the link in the description and pinned comment, but I was really impressed with Sam Harris here. I'm actually pretty surprised to hear some of those things come out of his mouth. I find it funny that he was still putting on this whole right-left thing when by the left standards, and I'm sure by Don Lemon's standards, Sam Harris is very far right simply by saying those things. I don't know, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.